US embracing wind energy. Joining me to discuss is David Mapley from City Windmills. David, welcome back. Thank you, Jessica. So you've recently just returned from the States. How is the US embracing wind energy? Quite exciting, actually. Uh, we now have nine states that have over 12% of their energy coming from wind. And South Dakota and Iowa actually get 25% of their energy from wind. So really, it's picking up now with momentum and acceptance not only the large wind farms, but we're looking at now with our small wind turbines for residential and commercial buildings, a big acceptance rather rapidly in the US. So very positive. Fantastic. So how is wind energy costed against uh, solar energy? It's uh, onshore is, is much cheaper than offshore and offshore is also still cheaper than solar. Now, the cost of solar has dropped by 99% over the last 40 years. And we're starting to see the same drop now in the cost of wind as well. And the electronics are pretty much the same between solar and wind, so that, that component is also quite cheap. So the costs are coming down and uh, wind is becoming more and more advantageous compared to solar. Fab, so globally, what trends are re-emerging in regards to fossil fuels and nuclear energy? Well, there's still $600 billion of, of uh, subsidies to the uh, coal and oil and gas industries worldwide, which are, are being reduced. And now there are more tax credits coming in and uh, government initiatives or quotas towards wind and, uh, and solar and renewables. So there's a switch away from fossil fuels towards uh, renewables. And of course, the problem with uh, nuclear uh, is that it's, it's old, it's potentially perceived as dangerous. And uh, after uh, what happened in Fukushima in Japan a couple of years ago, governments are decommissioning at, a, at a, quite a, a fast rate. And tell us a bit more about City Windmills, so how are they positioned to benefit in the next year or so? Well, we've picked a unique market. Uh, in, we're providing wind power, but literally to your building. So with hurricane season coming up at the end of this summer in the Caribbean and in North America, with the, the outages of power, as you saw with Hurricane Sandy, you know, 8 million homes without power for a, a week or more. So we think that's a sweet spot to take our, our products and appeal to companies that either can't do solar or just need a connection directly on their roof to capture the wind energy that's always out, out there. So uh, we're seeing more investors uh, around the world, like Warren Buffett, are investing in wind. So I think we're happily placed as a listed company to open up at North America, followed by the European markets. Well, fantastic, David. As always, it's a pleasure speaking to you today. Thank you. Well, that's all that we have time for today. But for further updates and interviews, do.